Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, March 1st through March 7th, 2021. You can watch this reading if you are a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising. Sag on the house cusp, if you have your sun in the ninth house, or Venus in Sagittarius, you can watch this reading. Uh, just a quick announcement, guys. I am available to do personals. Um, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, all that information is below in the description box below this video. The easiest way to do that would be just to book directly through my scheduling page. Uh, but you could go to my website if you are interested as well and book through there. But uh, that's the sh just the shortcut uh, is the scheduling page. Uh, for your reading today, we are using a couple decks here. The Alchemia Tarot deck by Aquamari Mura. And I'm also going to be pulling the some cards from the Numinous Astro deck here to see what planet transit or zodiac sign you may be dealing with over the next week. And lastly, um, we're going to be using this uh, lovely Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed um, So hopefully that sounds good. Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Sun card. So the Sun uh, could be an Aries or a Leo here. You also may be dealing with a younger child. I'm seeing a lot of happiness and bliss. All right, I'm definitely seeing Aries coming up here for you. So maybe you are dealing with an Aries over the next week or a Leo. Um, I was hearing clairaudiently um, something is being done in unison or something is being done in harmony. And I was actually hearing harmony, the song, a song that was being harmonized or like scales, octaves. Uh, so some of you are in some sort of uh, choir or doing something in harmony or doing something in unison. I also saw the ton of cups while I was shuffling. So um, that card and the temperance card remind me of the word harmony or unison. So I know, quite a lovely energy uh, as I was shuffling here. Okay, there you are. So with the page of wands there. Yeah, I'm getting an excitement here. I'm also seeing a breakthrough for you. All right. There's a lot of sunny energy around you. A lot of... Um, I'm also just seeing a Sagittarius here, a, a younger Sagittarius. All right, this could be a Sagittarius... Uh, teenager or just someone someone in their 20s or early 30s but I'm getting a lot of um, just a freedom loving sort of outdoorsy type of person so let's see what we have here uh, for your week ahead Sagittarius how you see yourself today we have the four of cups cancerian energy that has been coming up for a lot of signs so Nothing kind of piquing your interest. Um, this could be a little bit of, I'm hearing an emotional setback, emotional setback. All right. So uh, this is just basically, you know, something here is just not piquing your interest or you're just bored or you're being very selective about 
the people you allow into your life, the opportunities that you're you're going to accept. I do see a cup coming in here, so I do see an offer, offer, <laughs> yeah, an offer, an offer or an opportunity coming in. But you seem to be um, focused on these three cups here, so the past, or um, you're just not interested. So I guess you're going to pass on it. Uh, the theme for you over the next week, however, is the lovely three of wands. So I do see future planning here. I also see something being launched. All right. Uh, oftentimes the three of wands is uh, talking about long distance travel as well, foreign travel, uh, doing something overseas. All right. We also have Aries here. Some of you are in a long distance relationship. All right. I'm looking at these two cards together. I also see someone here wondering about you. Could be another fire sign. I'm also seeing uh, water signs here. But um, I'm seeing someone here who is uh, uh, abroad or doing something overseas and they're in a long distance relationship and they're wondering, how how is the other person doing here? All right, others of you are definitely launching uh, something this week, all right? Um, so things have been set into motion. Plans have been made. Perhaps you are planning to travel soon. Mm, exciting. I love the colors in this card. Uh, this reminds me of a sunrise uh, coming up over the water here. So um, I'm also getting hiking, doing something uh, adventurous here outdoors. Something Sagittarius has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week. And we have the, the lover's card. Oh, beautiful. Sign of Gemini. That's your opposite sign. All right. So this card is about love. It is about choice as well. The choices we make in love and the choices we make in life. And often here, uh, this talks about a head or heart decision that you made in the past. All right. Uh, but I do feel like there was um, a, a, a divine, a soulmate connection here, your twin flame, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there was a very special connection here you had in your past. Now, I often say this, soulmates are divine teachers. If you actually think about that phrase, soulmates are divine teachers. You realize that every soulmate, every soulmate you've ever had has taught you something that no one else could teach you, no book could teach you. The experience of being with that person. Um, you know, being with uh, literally someone who completes you. Uh, so I do feel like you had a twin flame connection back here. All right. Now, for some reason, I'm getting that someone in this connection is thinking about the other person. All right. Because I'm getting that there's there's something going to happen this week between you and this, this uh, one of your, let's say it could be a past lover. All right. Or a twin flame. It's coming up again for you this week. There is a, a huge lesson here that you learned in the past regarding this connection. Coming up again for you this week to remember that. Yeah, your challenge is a seven of wands. Someone here, someone in this connection, someone has to stand up and fight for this connection or someone is being challenged to do so. All right, I'm seeing a lot of um, defensive energy, you know, and also needing to meet the challenge here. There could be a lot of adversity to be with this person, a lot of challenges around uniting with this person. Someone here has to be willing to stand up and fight and stand up and fight for this connection is what I'm getting. But that is, a, that is the challenge here. We have a Leo energy. We have Aries, Cancer, Gemini, Leo, and Aries again. The lesson you are learning now, we have judgment. Wow, powerful major arcana. I feel someone is coming back here. Uh, you have a relationship coming back this week. Um, I'm also hearing it's time to face the music judgment day.
if you want this connection, you have to be willing to fight for it. You have to be willing to stand up for it. Love is a choice. We can choose most of the time who it is that we want to love. And sometimes they love us back and sometimes they reject us. <laughs> it just depends. Um, although there is something, I've heard that there is something noble about unrequited love. Although I have to say unrequited love is, it, it doesn't feel very good, does it? But uh, it happens to the best of us. We have judgment and the lovers here. So someone in a twin flame connection here is coming back. Now, I've seen it happen where this is just in the astral realm, but I'm actually feeling like, um, look at the angels here. There is some other greater force here that wants you and this person to be together. This seems very heaven sent. Oh, wow. And the gift you will receive is the world. Okay. So this, this is, this is the, this is the person. This is it. The world is the end end all be all. There is no more. Um, cause I'm kind of hearing like you found the one Sagittarius. This is the one for you. Um, the beginning and the end. Oh, I was getting another message here. This is the same couple I'm seeing in this in these cards here. Uh, a very divine connection. Uh, some of you here are going to be um, sealing this connection with some kind of. Uh, it could be um, I, uh, the nuptials. It could be nuptials. It could be marriage. These could this could be like the wedding bands here. Um. But something is being sealed here or there's closure. I'm getting there's going to be closure. Your gift is receiving closure on this con connection here. Very interesting reading. Um, yeah. Okay. Wow. 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 Uh, let's go ahead and pull an astro card to see what planet transit or zodiac sign you may be dealing with this week. Okay, we have Moon and Mercury here. So I really feel like um, in this this connection you have with this person, you share a uh, compatible Moon sign and compatible Mercury. So very, very important uh, to have both of those aspects um, that I guess you could call it sinistry. I'm, I'm getting you have very good Moon sinistry with this person and very good Mercury sinistry. Okay, so I'm getting some possible combinations here. Um, like I said, I, I'm getting, um, let's see. Moon is your feelings, right? Moon is your emotions. Um, actually, I'm not moon and Mercury. So someone could have Gemini here. We've got Gemini, Leo, Scorpio. The fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, and Aries, and Leo coming up. Wow, and there's Jupiter. Okay, something here, something here is feeling very faded. All right, I'm getting a destined or faded twin flame here. I don't often get this in my readings. So this is a very special connection. Jupiter, that would be you. But I feel like your moon and your Mercury are sinistry are off the charts here. Okay, the moon represents your feelings, your emotions, your instincts, how you nurture, your gut reactions, how you comfort or what comforts you, your digestion, your home, your family, your conditioning, habits, 
femininity, lineage, sustenance, self-soothing, moods, and mother. And then we have Mercury, uh, which rules communication. What is going on in the sky right now? I wish I could. I don't have my um, chart in front of me. Uh, but Mercury uh, rules your words, thoughts, analysis, uh, information, learning, trade, ideas, smarts, reporting, awareness, vision, lens, palette, perception, curiosity, narrative, muse, and wonder. So to sum to summarize, I feel you have a very good emotional understanding of each other in this connection. And I'm getting also that you have very good communication. So if that's the case, congratulations. Yeah, I'm really getting this is the one Sagittarius. This is the one for you. Okay, there is no other. You found them. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and luck. So you also have a uh, excellent, uh, Jupiter represents the father, the husband here. Someone is going to be an excellent husband, an excellent, um, if you're a female watching and, um, you're interested in a Sagittarius or likewise, if you're a Sagittarian female watching and you've met someone, uh, you're going to be meeting someone this week. I'm hearing you're going to be meeting them this week. Someone from a someone from another country. Or if you're abroad, if you're traveling right now, yeah, because Jupiter, Jupiter here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, let's pull your spirit animal oracle. I'm, I'm getting you're going to meet someone while you're traveling here, Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. Okay, and look at that little hummingbird uh, trying to get the nectar out of the flower. So someone cannot keep their eyes off you. Someone is... I'm getting hovering around the, your flower. So if you're like a female watching, this person cannot, it's like magnetic. Yeah, the lover is magnetic. It's a magnetic attraction. So let me go ahead. They like, they need you to be there now. Hummingbird spirit number 34, which uh, reduces to a seven. So that's a divine connection, a divine number. I'm also getting divine timing is at work here. Oracle message, the hummingbird's wings beat so swiftly it can hover in seeming stillness as it drinks deeply from a flower. Hummingbird spirit comes to remind you that the beauty and sweetness of life is in the eternal now, the timeless present. Here and now you are becoming the person you wish to be, to have the experiences you wish to have. Focus your energy on the flower before you, for what you desire is being provided. Yes, there are blossoms everywhere. The choices can be dazzling. Hummingbird spirits message is that you have no need to go about in search of something better. Oh my gosh, for all that you require and desire is before you. You will know this as you become still, feeling your connection to spirit who loves you unconditionally and will always provide for you. Yes. Protection message. Nectar is everywhere, but hummingbird spirit is here to remind you that flying from flower to flower and being all over the place wastes precious energy. Be still, be here now in the present moment, enjoying the sweetness and sustenance available to you. Focus on one flower today, just one. Nectar is there for you and hummingbird spirit's message is that wherever you put your attention, there your energy flows. Are you focused on the sweetness or on finding something better somewhere else? Always yearning and feeling that life is not enough and you are not enough. All you seek is right here, right now. A 
appreciate the present and you will see that you are where you need to be and enjoying what you are entitled to enjoy in this timeless and perfect moment. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful reading. I feel like I'm doing, I feel like this is like a love reading for someone. So Sagittarius, I truly feel like uh, you've met someone special here. Um, and if you haven't met them yet, I feel like you're going to, especially if you're traveling abroad or doing something. This person could be from a foreign uh, foreigner or from another um, across the pond here. Whoever this is, they are very much wanting you to be with them. I'm getting this is the one Sagittarius. Congratulations. 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 Guys, this is your weekly forecast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading, information below. Have a great week, guys, and I will see you guys back soon. Take care. Bye.